I'm still trying to figure out this live thing. Here we go. Hey guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. I've been traveling full time since 2015 and I'm starting an interview series and Callie's my first. We work together. Oh, oh no, we never worked together. I worked with her boyfriend and her boyfriend was like, is it weird if I introduce you to my girlfriend? And I was like, no. And my boyfriend, now husband, was like, you're going to be obsessed with her. Like, you guys are going to be best friends. And we are. And that kind of so happened. So there you go. Well, Callie has, she's a new flight attendant. She's been a flight attendant mm -hmm. for, since when? Um, I started flying on July 5th this summer. So, yeah, so I'm very junior. That's what it would be in flight attendant language. <laughs> but I'm a newbie is a better way to say it. I said that I was doing interviews with people and you guys were super interested in flight attendant stuff. And so we're actually going to do two videos, one live and then one we've already recorded about just like what you should know about flight attendants. But this one is how to become one. We've got three major topics that we're working on, which is what it's over here. How to become one, your interview, the training and the actual job and then some questions that you guys have. We also have a timer set so we're not going over. Mm -hmm. I refuse. <laughs> so let's talk about the interview. The first thing that I want to say about the interview is that when Kelly was interviewing, she would send me her interview face. It was adorable. She oh, like had her hair all slicked back and she had her makeup on and her like blazer and her shirt and she's like, I'm ready. I dress the part. But that's what you Red have to do. You have to. Yeah. Um, I think that's a huge part of the, of the interview process is looking like a flight attendant, like embodying being a flight attendant as you move through it because they want to be able to picture you as a flight attendant. And that's kind of something you should do anyway. Seth yeah. does that for his cop interviews. He tries to like look like a cop. Good Seth job, Seth. is just in the background. Okay. Okay. <laughs> do you see him looking over his shoulder? <laughs> okay. Rose, we're not going to say which company she works for. We're going to keep this nope. very vague and generalized. That way I can be more candid, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, what? okay, so the interview process. Dress the part, and then what are some things... Bye, Seth. Yeah. <laughs> what are some other things that you think are important when you're interviewing? You should say you have customer service experience or highlight your customer service experience. You should also, what a lot of people don't know, is the most important part of being a flight attendant is safety and keeping people safe on the plane. Right. So if you have any way to incorporate like some <sighs> ways. So much anxiety. <laughs> I would get so I get nervous sitting in the yeah, exit row. I'm like, yeah. I don't know. I'm like, yeah, I can do it. Just so I, I don't know if I can do it. I'm gonna um, knock on some wood here and say I haven't really had to deal with yeah, anything great. yet, but if, eventually something's gonna happen. Right, but I'm you're sure. trained up on yeah. it. So that's yes. I feel like flight attendants are a mix between like a server or a waitress and like a first responder. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, I mean, some days I hand out peanuts and some days I might have to save someone from having a yeah, heart attack. Yeah, I don't want Just, to. You know, you never know. <laughs> if there's any way you can find out a way to incorporate safety into your resume or into your interviews, that's huge. So I use, I used to teach yoga. Um, that's one of the ways me and Shayla originally connected. Put in there that like I was in charge of people's safety when I would teach yoga classes to make sure they stayed safe and didn't hurt themselves and stuff. So any way you can incorporate, use the word safety, it's a good buzzword in your resume. Um, and I think it'll make you stick out and have them. Uh, so dress for success, talk about customer service and safety. What else? Stand um, out somehow. Yes. So there are, with my applica application, applicant pool. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, oh, yes. I understand. <laughs> there was um, 286,000 applications for 1,500 positions. So standing out, I think, is important. Um, <laughs> I put in my resume um, all of like the volunteer work I've done and just put some extra little snippets that just made me look different than just like your general customer service. Like what? These are my jobs. Um, I put like uh, the work I did for Smile Network and the money I raised and how I raised the money. Mm. Um, I put that my Costa Rica experience, um, my yoga teacher training experience. Right. So they could um, be like, oh, that girl that did the fundraiser, the yogi, yeah. like some yes, reference. Okay. Exactly. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. You asked me if I had ever applied to be a flight attendant, and I was like, yeah, I did. And you were like, oh, you rejected it? I'm like, no, I didn't get accepted. She's like, what? I was like, I'm pretty sure it was in my basement with poor lighting, and I was wearing a t-shirt. And she was like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's, yeah. What not to do when applying? There's a we're on track. Okay, we are. Second, second thing. Let's go into training. Depends on what airline you get hired with, but with my airline, I had to leave, go to another place in the country for eight weeks. Um, no breaks, maybe a day off a week, and so you're, you can't go home, you can't visit home, you're gone for eight weeks. Wait, and but you have weekends off. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes. Whoa! Yeah. Okay. I think we had two full weekends off. Okay. Other ones we'd have maybe a day. But it's it's nonstop. That's gnarly. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's, a lot of people think that like being a flight attendant and learning how to become a flight attendant is super easy because it looks easy, like from a passenger's perspective, right, but right. it is one of the most intense things I've ever done Do they in my teach life. you how to talk on the loudspeaker? I mean, they do you have practice? you do it. Yeah. yeah. A couple times. Yeah. Yeah. I would get nervous about that too. <laughs> it which is, is weird for me, but I would be like, cause I just want to be like, Hey, thanks for flying. <laughs> We're here to keep you safe. But you have to be very professional as a flight attendant. I feel like. Yeah. I feel like you do. But you tell good jokes. I sneak some in sometimes. Yeah. What, did, what were the... Oh, when someone asked for two snacks. Oh, like, yeah. What are some of the jokes you talk about? I, think well, so it's, I mean, they're dumb. No, they're so dumb. They're like dad jokes. <laughs> it was the worst. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like when someone asked for two snacks and the next person goes, I'll take peanuts. I'm like, nope, sorry, check yours. <laughs> <laughs> or she... We've talked about this, but there's another one where they're like, oh, do you have Mountain Dew? And you're like, oh, let me just ask the pilot. If we can make a pit stop. <laughs> On the way, I'd be like, "You're a funny flight attendant." I try. Yeah, it's easy because you just use the same joke over and over again. Yeah. You see new people. <laughs> Three rows later. Yeah. Sorry, she every took time. yours. Yeah. yeah, every time. You gotta spice it up somehow. Yes. Okay, what else? Um, back training just for a little bit. I just want to say a couple yeah, more training. things. Um, it's just extremely intense. I don't think a lot of people realize that. Um, I had, I think, over 30 exams. I had to maintain a 90% average. The entire Whoa. time. Um, on top of, you have to evacuate every aircraft in their fleet within 90 seconds. Um, so it's not only 90 exams, but it's like however many evacuation yeah. things that you have Should to pass. Plunk? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not everybody makes it. And you just have to be, just be on your P's and Q's. I mean, you're studying and you're at class the entire time, nonstop. That's crazy. Okay, what about an academy? Because some people were like, oh, should I join this flight attendant academy? Um, no, you no. should not. Right. Um, I think that the airlines think we have our own school and yeah. we just want to hire you and teach you our way rather than having you learn a different way. I feel like that's the same with bartending. Yeah. You know, like I went to a bartending academy and the bars were like, cool. Yeah. So we've gone over what to do for an interview, look the part, stand out, man, like mention customer service and safety. Mm -hmm. Training, super intense, not easy. Once you get past that, that interview process, which is insane. Mm -hmm. Then you go somewhere and you're there. Now we're getting to the actual job, which Callie has been a flight attendant since July. So a newbie. So she's just a noob. So um, we'll have to interview again in a couple of years. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, great. I like that. Um, yeah, so when you're at the bottom of the totem pole, you just get <laughs> what they have left, basically. Um, for the schedule. For the schedule. So my schedule is super sporadic. I don't have really any control over it right now. Um, I might get the days off I ask for, maybe. But there's no, like, it all just trickles down. It's so the top person picks their dates. Uh huh. And then the next level picks their dates. It's all computer generated. And then yours is just left over? That's. Mm -hmm. But you, do you get the whole month at one time? Yes, which I is really like nice. That. Yep, yeah. I get my schedule two weeks before the month starts. Oh, wow. And then I have my whole month ahead of me, which yeah. is really nice. So Someone asked if you could have a full time job and have this on the side. No, I mean, that might be possible when you're like 20 years flying and you have a lot of control of your schedule, but not right away at all. Okay, and then what about the perks? Um, so I fly for free as long as there's room for me on the flight, which so is pretty nice. nice. Yeah. But how, how many days are you working a month? Um, it depends on the season. So summer's super busy. I'm probably working five, six days a week. Um, and Whoa. in the winter, it's way slower, so I'm only flying like three days a week right now. Okay. And I'll like get my trips picked up sometimes. So, like I don't work for a week and a half. So right you should go fly somewhere. Yeah. Do you get sick of the plane? Okay. No. <laughs> mm -mm. no. I feel like I always see passengers and I'm like, oh, I want to be like that person going somewhere and like yeah. watching a movie and yeah. whatever. So I like get really excited to oh, be that person. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Like, but, oh, then when, minutes, thanks. but then you get to, when you fly somewhere, you have a layover there. That's another way, obviously, you experience the benefits. Um, so a lot of times people ask me, where did you go today? And I'm like, oh, I went to Vegas, but I only saw the airport or even the inside of the airplane. Sometimes I don't really the airplane. Oh, we are doing good. We're doing really good. We're gonna have time for questions. So put questions in there so we can answer them if you guys, if you have questions about being a flight attendant. Um, and then sometimes people say, where did you go today? And I'm like, oh, I was in Bozeman, Montana, Montana for 30 hours and I went on a hike and I slept two nights there and I got to really actually experience it. And you love that hotel life. And I love the hotel life. She loves the hotel life. I think it's so funny. <laughs> There's nothing to do. No chores to do, no dishes. Yeah, right. Just a bed and a TV. Fun fact, I lived in a hotel in junior high. 
What? For like a couple months. Oh. We sold one house and we're redoing the oh, other. Oh, yeah. My mom called the bus company and had the bus pick me up at the hotel. Shut up. Do you know up. how mortifying the first day was? <laughs> oh, no. It was so, do you love hotel life? Yeah, it was well, especially then. I crashed so many birthday parties because at the oh. time, the Super 8 was like the best place to have a birthday party. <laughs> what is your favorite part of being a flight attendant? Um, I always say hotel life. I yeah, love okay. hotel life. Just someone cleans my room for me like once. Right, okay. how do you not? Um, the benefits, obviously, um, and layovers. Layovers are the best. Yeah. I mean, I get to go spend time and get paid other places. Would you say that flight attendants are like travelers? I feel like they. Like the more junior you are, the more you love traveling, mm -hmm. and then like the longer you've been doing it, it's kind of like a lot of people. I've heard that uh, flight attendants are infamous for like staycations. So when they like have some time off, they're like, I don't want to go to an airport. Right. I want to like stay home. Like I don't normally get to stay home. Yeah, that makes sense. Somebody messaged me and they're like, I'm going through the application process right now. I need to know about relationships. I feel like that question kind of gets tossed around a lot on like the forums and stuff, and. I feel like it just depends on your relationship. Um, I feel like it's not a bad thing to miss someone. I think that's not like a negative emotion. I, I think understand. It's a good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you get it. Yeah. 100%. Like, yeah. I think it's good to miss somebody. So. Seth, do you think it's good to miss people? Yes. He loves mm -hmm. He loves missing me. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, like whenever I come home for a trip, like we're excited to see each other. Yeah. I don't know. Like obviously, nice. I miss him and I want to be around him, but I don't think it's but a bad thing. But he can also fly. But he can also fly because he's... My buddy. <laughs> Is it true after you travel for three years you can't donate your organs? I've never heard that before. Okay, let's answer some questions. It's sideways so that I can post it on YouTube, so it's kind of goofy, so I'm just gonna. Me and my friend are becoming flight attendants for E A R Lingus. Do you know that? Lingus, yeah. That's your cool. Queen, isn't it? What kind of plane do you fly in? Um, Boeing's, Airbuses, um, to McDonnell Douglas's. Well, that's really neat. Thank you so much for that, Kelly. Um, okay. What is your pet peeve you have about travelers? Oh, when they have their headphones in, it's the worst. Oh, yeah. You take your headphones out for a second and listen to me. I know. You're like, excuse me, can you just... Oh, oh yeah. yeah okay. What? Do you need... What? Huh? I'm like, I'm going to say it again, but you're still not going to be able to hear me because your headphones are still in. Take them out. I'll just take your headphones out. That's all. <laughs> okay. No problem. And people who take off their socks. Because I take my shoes off. And Kelly was like, you do? And I was like, yes. And she said, if you are a germaphobe, wipe, it, wipe down your tray. Yeah. That's the best way we can put that. Yeah. <laughs> um, is one airline better to work for than another? Is there one people dream about working for? I would say this, being politically correct, just do your research. There is a lot of information and forums out there about what it's like to work for this yeah, you got obsessed this with the forums. Oh, I was obsessed. <laughs> My husband had to tell me to like, cool it. It's like, stay off those things. I'm like, I'm not going to make it because I did this wrong 10 years ago. I don't know. Someone said no red lipstick and I had red lipstick um, on. <laughs> maybe once but a week. But they're good. Limit yourself. <laughs> I so go it. on the forums go on and forums. do your research. Do your research. Um, a big thing too is like certain um, airlines have certain bases. So depending on, on where mm -hmm. you want to live, Oh, that's or if you're okay one. with commuting, or if you live in Houston, like what airline has a base there? Yeah, anything there? they should look for specifically other than that? Mm, if you like working for a union or not, some are unionized, some aren't. So if that's important to you, look up. I don't know what that means, but I bet you can find it on the forum. Adulting. Do you get paid based on how much you work for a main income that balances out the difference between summer and winter? Oh, because you work Oh, less. no, it's hourly. So you get paid for how much you work. Hmm. Emily! Emily says hi! Hi, Emily! Emily Warmelt. I want to meet your little baby. Yay! Does it annoy you when people are being yogis on the plane? I love to do the warrior in the aisle <laughs> and aisle. stick my feet up on the seat. Stick your feet up on the seat. I mean, I guess I don't care to, if it doesn't bother the person next to you. Yeah. yeah. So what about warriors doing the aisle? <laughs> as long as they don't have the carts out, I guess. If they need to stretch. We want stretch. you to take care of yourself. If you need to do a warrior, you do you, boo. <laughs> you do you, boo. <laughs> I hope this is super helpful if you guys are trying to be a flight attendant. If you have questions, though, br comment on YouTube, and Callie will go into the mm -hmm. comments for the next week and answer them. If you are a flight attendant, go also go in the comments and answer the questions. I like seeing all the talking. The comment section could be a forum. There you go. It might be one of the <laughs> forums <laughs> I would obsess <laughs> over. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah.
Or so you guys have seen this shirt before. This is Callie's company. This is Vite Queen. She mm -hmm. tell us about Fangirl. Uh, Fangirl is game day approval for women. I just feel like there was not enough options for girls to wear to game days, to sporting events. Like, so it's <laughs> perfectly understated and uniquely trendy. Oh, game day apparel. There you go, Fangirl. Um, these earrings, they're hippie do you. They're super cute. She makes them all homemade. She has an Etsy page. So go check it out. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next Wednesday. Mwah! Bye!